Well, the US-China relationship has been turbulent, to say the least, over the past couple of months. But there's been another curveball just a couple of hours ago when China summoned the US ambassador. It comes after President Donald Trump of the US signed into law the Hong Kong Human Rights and Democracy Act. But let's just take a step back into history and look as to where this all began. Because in 1992, this is where this document originates and is the foreign policy of the US with respect to Hong Kong. And I want to point you down to provision three here, which relates to the relationship with Hong Kong after 1997. That's when one country, two systems came into effect. And it said that the Hong Kong Administrative Council will be able to um, create provisions of uh, special trade relationships with the US. But it is this that could be restricted due to this new act. So let's just take a look as to what that may look like. Every year now, uh, the US officials will be certifying whether Hong Kong is retaining its autonomy. And those special trade relationships will be attached to that. So they will assess if Hong Kong should retain those. And then they have the ability to sanction officials they say are responsible for human rights violations. Now here in the Cube, we've noted before how Chinese officials are taking to Western social media platforms to counter what they say is Western misunderstanding. And we've seen that significantly over the past couple of hours. This a foreign affairs ministry statement saying that the US was disregarding facts and distorting truth. But there was also more harsher words being used. This coming from an official within the Ministry of Foreign Affairs saying that the US is a creator of unrest and turmoil. But also from state media. This is the editor of the Global Times taking to Twitter. He said that the US has no jurisdiction over Hong Kong. Arguably one of the strongest statements coming from an embassy Twitter account, the Chinese embassy in the US, saying that this act will only further expose the malicious nature of US intentions to the Chinese people, saying we urge the US not to continue down what they say is the wrong path. But significantly here, this act passed by the US, signed into law, is one of the harshest stances legally from a foreign country as these demonstrations continue.